Hi, Adrian. How hey are Gloria. you? I'm good. I'm good. So, so tell me. Markapod. Okay. So, um, first of all, as Gloria said, this is our newest member of the family, our baby member. Um, I like all small things. They, they are the best things that you can basically have. So, this is Micropod, our data center in a box. Before I show you exactly how Micropod works, um, maybe I'll just take a minute to explain the background to the product. The concept started on looking at some of the uh, systems in the smart pod range that are used in data center. Those customers, particularly telecommunication customers, were asking us to say, okay, how do you take the benefits you've got in a data center and put it outside in any type of environment? And that's basically the concept where we came up with Micropod. Um, it works fundamentally on the same principles, and I'll explain a, a little bit about that in a moment. But the huge benefits it gives you is you can take a liquid immersion cooling with high density equipment into the edge environment. So if you think about telecommunication towers, you can really start to uh, deploy these systems on top of buildings for the 5G rollout. And then the list just goes on. So we've got customers looking at uh, healthcare. We've got customers looking at emergency service locations in really harsh environments. We've got customers looking at it for oil rigs, customers looking at it for trains, et cetera, et cetera. So this product was on basically started in March of last year and we launched it in November of last year. So you can see how quickly we can take an idea from a customer and ourselves, design it and deploy it. So the way Micropod set up is there's two elements to it in the single unit. On here you have the chiller and the pumps and on here you have the housing for the IT equipment. So let me explain a little bit more by opening the lid. So the way we've set it up is you've got a chiller and, a, and the cooling system here. They move up to 90 liters of the same smart coolant fluid that moves through the system. Um, before we get inside, and if you want to come a little bit closer, I will let, I'll show you the inside the tank. <laughs> but here we have tamper switches. So if anybody tampers with the system, we can see remotely at any time. Um, we also have the sealant, which I will show you now. So it's completely sealed. So if you look it up inside, oh, excuse me. Um, the seal basically means no air, nothing can get inside it at all. You can get no dirt inside it, it's completely sealed. So the same benefits from the smart coolant that are used in the larger tanks, you get into the smaller environment. So the hardware is protected and perfectly safe there in its own smart cooling environment. Yeah, absolutely. So now you get to the fun part. So inside the tank, um, this is the real benefit that we're seeing the customers are really excited about. So you can put high density equipment, up to six years worth of IT equipment uh, inside this small environment. So that basically means, you know, if you look inside the tank, you will see there's a switch, standard switch. You have the fluid, it is real. I know it looks clear, but it is there. And uh, here is a node that really starts to show the benefit. So this is a extremely high dense, uh, ruggedized IoT server node. Um, you can basically populate in here. You can put two of them on top of each other. So if you think about that logically, you can start to put more and more capacity inside a smaller space. And okay. I mean, that's the principles of how it works. Um, some basic fundamentals. Inside here, you have the same quick connect hoses that you have in the main smart pods. Uh, the weight of it um, currently is just under 300 kilograms. It, we will be getting that down to 200 kilograms. And that in, in essence, is Micropod. Okay, and I understand that it's called a data center in a box because uh, as a difference as the smart pods, uh, it has the tank, yep. and then it has also the secondary cooling yep. uh, on it. So yep. it's like the perfect solution, all packed and ready yep. to use. Yep. Okay. And it has connectivity, standard connectivity as well. So you can pretty much put it anywhere. Wow, really a lot of things to a data center in a box. Cool. <laughs> Submer data centers that make sense.